I am a proud partner of Car Marshall. If you are interested in a new or used car, please check out Car Marshall. Click on the link in my description box below. No credit check, no cosigner. That's Car Marshall. In the 90s, there were over 2,000 possible homicides in Los Angeles. This was a 400% increase in killings from 1960 through the 1990s. Just in the months of July and August of 1991, there was more than 500 homicides. And due to the heavy crack era that plagued the black communities, many children was left without a father present. Kids growing up without a father are five times more likely to be poor, twice as likely to drop out of school, and much more likely to end up in foster care or juvenile justice facilities. Lots of black fathers are still locked up from the crack era. When you look at today's present time, now we have this opioid addiction. They call this a crisis. During the crack era, there was a war on drugs, but now it's a crisis. Now Congress is spending millions of dollars for treatment facilities, but in the 80s and 90s, they was locking everybody up. Congress put out a statement. They said they don't want to focus on the incarceration. They want to focus more on the treatment. During this opioid crisis, there's over 50,000 deaths a year, with the vast majority of them being white. But nobody cared about the users during the crack era, though, when the vast majority were black. Jobs were being took out of the black community at an alarming rate. So they were losing jobs and crack was running through the hoods like a hot knife through butter. And they knew what was gonna happen. As a father, you would do anything to feed your kids. If you strip a man's ability to feed his kids, there will be madness. I'm a law-abiding citizen, but if you take away my resources, if I can't feed my kids, I will probably be kicking your door down, climbing through your window, knocking you over the head with something and tying you up because my kids will eat by any means necessary. They took the resources, left us broke and starving, locked us up and gave us crack as a replacement. They strategically knew what was gonna happen. The TV show South Central was a little too raw for TV they touched on real issues in the black community, like gang violence, kids growing up without a father, and poverty-stricken areas. The show aired on Fox in April of 1994 and ended after only 10 episodes. The show was about a struggling single black mom raising three kids without any assistance in the early 90s in South Central. And she just lost her older son to gang violence. You think of the other black shows that had a family type of setting around that time. Family Matters. The Cosbys. And The Fresh Prince, just to name a few. The authenticity of the show was on point. It told the story of many living in the inner city of Los Angeles. It was mixed with a little bit of comedy for sitcom purposes. The show is not about glorification. These type of stories sends a message. These stories are important because they tell you what can happen if you keep living that lifestyle. The show was canceled way before it even got going good. They did very little promotion and this was the era before social media. How do you expect the show to take off if you're not promoting it? They barely even had a commercial for the show.
thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section.